Hi, I'm Ruth Martifio from Data School Cohort 15, and I'm going to show you how to bake a Rutherford chart using a template. This chart type is nice for creatively displaying different values between large numbers of categories. Building this chart requires a tiny bit of data prep, so let's jump into Tableau and get that done. For my sample data, I'm going to connect to Sample Superstore and I'm going to bring in subcategory and sales. With my pre-aggregated data, I'm going to select these and I'm going to export them. I'll export them as a CSV, but then I'll resave it as an Excel file so that Tableau doesn't try and reformat these dollar signs into numbers. Having done that, I can open my template. So this template has two versions. It has a rhombus shape that's equal in area to the measure and it also has a kite shape that has a similar starting point but then extends depending on its area which will be equal to the measure. So to build this out we will go to our data we can say data new data source or we can just go to our files and folders and drag in our new data. The first thing we'll need to do is union the data to itself and now you will see you have table name, the first table, and then when it's been duplicated and unioned again, you have table one. We'll hide this because we don't need it. And we want to make our sales into a number decimal, so that's done. And having done that, then we can go back to our chart. So on our new data source we've just brought in, we can see we've got our sales and our subcategory, and we just need to make one more extra field so we'll create a calculated field which is called pad and we'll say if table name is equal to table then one otherwise five and what that does is it's going to create uh, this pad which is basically a way for us to number one two three four, five around the points of the star we want to create. So we have our subcategory, we have our measure, and we have our pad. We can now go to our original data source and we can get that ready to replace. So here you'll see two values that have a star next to them. These need to be renamed to what your new fields are. So the category we're going to call subcategory and the measure we're going to call sales. And having done that, we can then go to our original data source, right click, replace data source. Our old data is going to bring in our new table and we'll press OK. Something's not happy. So we'll have a look and we can see that the sales is not replacing the sales. So we'll right click, replace references, and we can say any calculation that was referencing this, instead reference this, and we press OK. And now we have our new star with all our new data. And maybe we can right click sort, and we'll use by field, sales, and then we have our sorted star. And having done that, then we can close the old template data because we don't need it anymore and we have our chart with all our different measures and we have the other kite with all its different measures. You might want to adjust the proportion of your sheet if you can find it's being a bit squished because maybe the y-axis is higher than the x-axis you can you can edit your width so maybe you might want to make it a little bit shorter or wider or you can do this manually just to see where it, it makes sense in terms of you can obviously turn on your headers as well um, if that helps you gauge whether your x-axis and y-axis is proportional and that's it thank you for watching this video and i hope you now feel confident to make a rutherford chart yourself please check the description of this video for links to the additional material you might find helpful to build this chart yourself and if you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy building radial bar charts by my colleague Luke. Click the
link on the screen to watch it next.